Hi friends, MD Vegan. I have a wonderful pear that is ripe and has to be eaten. And that's how I usually begin my recipe. So with an ingredient, um, either I like to use specially, because uh, something falls into my eye and smiles at me, so to say, and I want to use it and I make a recipe out of it. I try, I find how to, how to combine it with other ingredients to make something nice of it that is more than its parts. That's my idea. Yeah. And today I had an ingredient like the pear that was to be used. That's what I usually do. I get um, a lot of ingredients once a week and then over the week I will use them all. Um, but they are of course not ripe when I are fully ripe when I get them because otherwise I couldn't store them for a week. Well, so the pears, I get the pears in time, they are not ripe. And when they turn ripe, they have to be used pretty quickly. So they turn brown all of a sudden. From one day to the other, they turn completely brown. I have to use them. These are my last pears now uh, from this week. So I have to use them now. And um, I thought, what can I do? So I had a, a new lemony, that's called lemony cashew cream. Yeah. And um, so I thought I could use that pear that is sweet with a slightly bitter tone. The peel is a little bit bitter with the pear. And the pear is very, itself is very soft and sweet and has this slightly bitter tone to it. The special pear flavor with this slightly bitter tone of the peel. And it's pretty characteristic for the, for the pear. So this sweet and bitter um, made me at first think about um, what could I use together with the pear and the second fruit. Yeah. The idea is to make three, take three recipe. That's the systematic approach. Take three helps me to make new recipes all the time. And with three is the minimum number because with three begins complexity. That means magic. I cannot analyze anymore. Yeah. My mind cannot analyze. That means it just experiences, feels the moment. Uh, that's with three. With two, it is to, it's easy to analyze. With three, there are so many combinations, possible combinations. What is it? What could it be? Uh, what could be predominant? And what is that? So the mind is a little bit um, over, um, it's overwhelmed a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and with two, it's very easy for, for most of the minds to analyze. But three is really more complex and that makes it so magical. So that is the, the idea behind the method. Yeah, take three the minimum amount of numbers to make it to make it um, fascinating and magical but also uh, the, the idea is to reduce the, uh, the number uh, of ingredients to make it easy to do it but it has to be both easy and complex enough to be fascinating yeah? Yeah, that's the idea behind the recipe that's the, they take three but there's a lot so the second ingredient here i wanted to use was, was today is Raspberry. I have beautiful raspberries too, and they too have to be used soon because once they have you have them at home, <coughs> they begin to waste also. Even in a day, they can be begin to mold, and that is <laughs> very very dangerous. So these are very precious fruit and very tender. Yeah, you know? and if you use them, and I thought they are a little bit sour. That's raspberries are a little bit sour usually, most of the time. You know? Um, when you get them in a the store at least. And so I thought maybe the sour um, would go together with a pear uh, because they're a little bit bitter and you can balance bitter with sour. Yeah. And also pears are very tender, yeah, the, 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 the texture, and that would even top the pear. The, the, pear. the pear is so, uh, soft, but that is even exact, uh, topped, uh, um, you know, um, more than that um, tenderness is in the in the raspberry. So I thought maybe raspberry might be an interesting combination of pairing for the pear. So that is that. And then this lemony cashew cream that I mentioned before. That is something I found in recent days. It's very interesting because usually I make cashew cream only with pear, uh, cashews and, um, and um, bananas. That's usually my cashew cream. Very nice. Uh, you have bananas and cashews, a little bit, uh, what a handful of cashews and two bananas would be a nice cashew cream. Also, without bananas, you would have a nice cashew cream. Just blending cashews with a little bit of water, a wonderful cashew cream. 
Yeah, but then it tastes only, only like butter a little bit. Yeah, the buttery cashew flavor. Yeah, that is nice. It's a little bit sweet. Yeah, but could also be too savory, but in the direction of savory. But it is more rather sweet as opposed to macadamias. They are definitely, definitely more direction of savory. They are also softer, the cashews. But when you put the banana in there, it gets a very different creaminess. Yeah. It's very nice and has more character. The banana gives it a, this complex banana flavor from sweet to bitter to, yeah, there's all sorts of bitterness in the banana. Very complex one. And if you put a lemon into it, and then we come to the, to the closer to the idea of lemony cashew cream, you get so much more out of the banana, yeah, because the banana and the cashew and the lemon are perfect as a pairing. Yeah. Lemon makes a banana even more banana -y. It would say it tastes more like banana. It gets some out of the banana that you wouldn't even imagine is in the banana. So, but usually I only use half a lemon for uh, this kind of this amount of dressing. So two bananas, a uh, small handful of cashews, and half a lemon would be usually lemon the, le the cashew cream, uh, just cashew cream. But lemony it gets. You put more lemon, and that is nice for a dressing again. Yeah, to make it lemony. Um, give an overwhelming lemon flavor, that would make it um, especially apt for fruit dressings when the fruit are sweet, like the pear. But um, you have to know one more thing to understand what I call lemony in this case, because the lemon has two parts basically, that is the flesh and the juice inside and the yellow color outside. And the lemony flavor comes mostly from the yellow color outside, from the taste of that yellow coloring. That is the lemony flavor. The sour flavor of the lemon is more inside in the juice. So you want to make something sour to play with other ingredients that are sweet maybe or bitter to balance, you would take the juice and the lemon flesh to balance that bitter flavor yeah, or to, to pull out the sweetness of other, of other things. That's what we use lemon for in the banana and so. But the lemony flavor by itself, in itself, that's what makes the lemon specially healthy, like in citrus fruit in general, is in the peel, in the zest, in the yellow, in the color part. That is what most, what's most healthy in a lemon, in citrus fruit in general. Yeah? And when you uh, zest it with a zester, with a zester, with a, with a grater or so, you get off the lemon, uh, the yellow color, then you have this. This is the zest. And that's really powerful. It's a very powerful ingredient. Uh, it is um, a little bit bitter, but it tastes mostly like lemon. The lemon flavor is that in that peel here. And they're also super healthy, antioxidant, everything that is in this. Yeah. So if you can use it, you have an advantage yeah, in many, many ways. And sometimes you cannot use it because it is too much of the flavor. It's a very powerful flavor, a very small amount goes a long way. But in this case, with the banana and the cashews yeah, and the pears also. It's a lot of sweetness in there. And here I have five dates here. With this together, this might be possible. And I used it in another recipe with only four dates. Yeah. It was a little bit less sweet. The rest was the same. And it was perfect. Now I have one more date. Yeah. And um, let's see what uh, happens here. Uh, have a little bit more sweetness in there and then the other recipes because um, the, the, here the, the raspberries are a little bit sour so I thought maybe a little bit more sweetness in the dressing. But that is the in, in, uh, in um, basically this um, lemony cashew cream. That's what I have to ex what I wanted to explain with share with you about the specifics about this lemony so-called lemony cashew cream. Yeah. It's an amazing flavor. You gotta try that with the zest and so. It's very, very nice, very nice. So I have your five ingredients: that's banana, cashew, lemon, date, and lemon zest, yeah. and water. I don't count. So I have a, a half a cup here of of water to blend it up. Let's see what happens. Blender dance.
that's the second, the first blending. The second blending comes to finalize it. Now I have time to, to taste it. If I really have enough of all the ingredients, what the water, what is the water content, and so on. So let's see. Texture is nice, it's runny. It will turn a little bit creamier because of the cashews. They will soak now for a moment and it gets thicker. And then I will blend again to get the perfect creaminess. But now let's see the flavor. Mm. Wow, wow, perfect. So with the five dates here, it's a pretty large lemon, medium, and the zest, it's a wonderful flavor. So mm, expressive, a lemony cashew cream indeed. So really great. I'm really happy I tried that already in another recipe, in another, in another recipe. but now I will refine it a little bit. Yeah, one more date and these kind of things. Yeah, so that's how I usually do it. And here I have now my three pears. I'll show you again. It's a main ingredient. That's how I began the recipe. I had a nice pear to use it. And I wondered, so what can I do together with a pear? And then the raspberry came in and the lemony cashew cream. Here are the raspberries again. I will keep some of them out for decoration. So let's see, three or four or five or so. Maybe I have two glasses, so five or six. <laughs> the rest goes into the, into the pears. And I have a same, similar amount of pears and um, raspberries. In another recipe, I made um, pears and kiwi fruit, and there I had only half a amount of kiwis because kiwis have a very special flavor with the enzyme that can digest um, protein. That is a very strong flavor in the kiwi. It can be easily overwhelming a whole recipe. You can't eat too many kiwis. That is can be a little bit hot, harsh. Uh, so, but with the, with, the, with the raspberries, there's nothing like that. Raspberries are so nice and tender and wonderful. So I have the same amount of raspberries and, and, um, and pears here. I combine them. And now I go back to my dressing here. That's what I have here. And I'm very curious what that will be like. And it was just an idea, follow an idea a little bit. An intuition about pears and raspberries. Well, let's see what happens when I put the, put the dressing on top of it and I will do one more blending. The blender dance number two. It's a little bit warm now, that is nice after a long blending. The temperature goes up a little bit and that's nice for a fruit salad. It can be, depends on the kind of fruit you have. But if you heat a little bit and it will give it a warm to a flavor, usually the flavor gets more full and you taste more of it. When it's cold, you bring down the flavor, it tastes less. Yeah, that's also interesting and that's why I like sometimes to put a little bit more temperature into the into the dressing yeah, for a fruit salad, for example, or for a green salad. Usually green salad, with, that would not be nice with, with warmth, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes. But with a fruit salad, that is more likely to be nice. And here, the texture here I see very nice. It's now a little bit more creamy because of the soaking of the cashews. The dates, wonderful flavor, really exciting. Wow, flavor explosion, I would call it. Very nice and the best lemony sense of the word. Here, look at that. I still have to try it, what it tastes like with this fruit salad, with the raspberries <laughs> and the pears. Let's see. I don't know yet. I never tried it before, but I will in a moment. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'm going to toss it carefully. Yeah, both ingredients, the pears and the raspberries, they are soft tender. I cannot push them too hard, squeeze them too hard, otherwise they lose their shape. But that looks nice here, yeah. 
Let me taste it. Now I'm very curious. I will have a lemon, uh, a, 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 a pear, a piece of pear and raspberries together with the dressing now. Mm. Oh, wow. In this moment, I learned a lot. Really, oh, awesome. It's a wonderful flavor. You know, the theory, how the raspberry and the pear could fit together, it's one thing to think about it, to theory, to think, yeah, it could be nice because here and there, and then when you taste it, then you have the reality, the practical, and that's really bomb. Because you have this raspberry flavor, this unique raspberry flavor, you can't describe really fully, you have to taste it, same with the pear, that magic of the pear, bring that together, and it's a perfect match with the dressing, really. Very happy I tried this. And yeah, I do what? The other recipe with the kiwi and the pear, the same dressing, the similar same dressing, that was also a super hit because of the dressing. Wow. So, I don't want to boast here, but I have to say, this dressing, this nice lemony cashew cream, uh, with just two ingredients, yeah, for the salad, that's here the pears and the raspberries, it's really a nice, nice way to make a fruit salad. Just with two ingredients plus dressing. And I will do more with this. Yeah? Um, I, usually I did a fruit salad with more ingredients. Uh, so before I made, made the take three recipes. Um, but here this, because of this wonderful cashew cream, this lemony cashew cream, it's really nice, uh, this idea to use uh, only two fruit. Just one pairing. Pear and raspberry, in this case, is the, tea, the theme, the topic. And it is wonderful when these two um, are going nicely together. And you can, uh, you can do it in so many ways. You can, I could make a soup or a cream or a, a mirror from the raspberries, mashing it and play it together with pears. I can make a cake, a, care, a pear cake, with raspberries juice uh, uh, cream on it or so. There are so many ways, raspberry jam or so. So, but the idea now to put pears and raspberries together, <clears throat> uh, friends, try that, it's really nice. <laughs> I'm so glad I found it. Thanks uh, for watching, I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.